Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Today is January the 31st. Wow. Last day of January, then we had February. That's a short month, then we're into March. Then we're in the spring, yay. Um, so today I'm going to show you a really cool technique that I learned um, by watching videos. I thinking it was videos. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. And just... So I have, hopefully I can see all the comments. If not, oh well. And so let's get started. So um, I'm just going to flip it around. So this um, technique is using the brayer. So it's a brand new toy that we have. It's on page um, 18 of the mini of the mini catalog January to April um, January to April catalog so it's this right here and they'll have they have a showcasing with this bundle right here I did have tried it with that but that's for another day I just thought I just I just wanted to show you this new technique that I um I found so cute there we go cord was hanging in my way okay so um for this let me show you the card so this is the card that I made and if you can see that all the flowers are different colors and then we have the background so i'm going to show you how i actually did the background to this card okay very springy so let's just move everything out of the way and i'm going to be using my brand well it's not brand new i've had it for a month or so no um glass mat using this technique so this is going to be fun so what you're going to need is a piece of um basic white paper this is five by three and three quarters and then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in three or no, four colors. And I'm going to make it a spring card, similar to the one that I, I just did. And you're going to need your um, blending brushes, too, because we're going to make a mess. Yay! Okay, so first thing... Oh, I'm going to put all these on the right colors, or we're going to have a mess, right? So first things first, I'm going to um, bring in my yellow no I'm gonna use the yellow last first thing let's go from dark to light so let's go in and bring in our bubble bath and your blending brush for that and you just want to just ink up your blending brush and very lightly add it to the basic white so I'm probably gonna do two or three of these I think I'll do three. There, so you can see my three spots there. Just move this out of the way. Now I'm gonna bring in my fresh fuchsia. And do the same thing like this. Basically wanna fill in all the white spots. Just like that. Okay, there's my first fuchsia. Now let's bring in Highland Heather. Now you want to leave a couple of uh, white spots so you can do your um, Daffodil Delight. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to fill in some of the white spots. Just like that. So I got some ink on my glass mat. So I'm going to bring in my cleaning tool. 
my sponge. I cut mine in quarters. The reason being that I can fit it into my little container right here and it's always going to stay um, damp. So then I'm not, I don't have to run to the laundry room or to whatever just to wet it down. Okay, so we've, we've done that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my embossing folder, okay? And I'm going to put this in, but I'm going to put it in backwards, okay? And now I'm going to run it through my cut and emboss machine. I'm just going to just do it off screen here because because it's a bigger machine and it takes up lots of room. So just a reminder. So the Stampin' Up! is on the front with a blank piece of um, cardstock. I'm going to flip this over and we're just going to run it through. So you can see how it's embossed on this side, how the image is facing up. So now we're just gonna just flip this over just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring in my brayer with my Knight of Navy ink. And I'm just gonna just ink up my brayer. Okay, and then what I like about the brayer is that it has these two little hooks or these two little down spells right there. Just so you can put your brayer down and it's not actually going to touch the surface of the, um, that's your surface. So I'm just going to bring and just go over just like that. See, I'm getting inked everywhere, but that's okay. So I can clean it up with my glass mat and if you're interested in getting the glass mat you can definitely do that um, the demonstrators were able to purchase it beforehand and now it is I'm just going to just clean this off because it's driving me crazy um, it is offered to all demons all new demonstrators see I put this upside down all new demonstrators in their starter kit And then we'll just ink this up again. So if you're not working with a demonstrator, you live in Canada, I would love to be, love to have you on my team. Okay, so let's just roll this. We want to make sure that we get all the white. May have to do two couple times but that's okay I think I did two or three times and then I finally got to the color that I wanted hey Mary Lou thanks for watching and we'll get this and get all so you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to break down the image on the other side but you want to make sure that you get all the images I wouldn't recommend doing this with a um, a blending brush because it will get into the flowers. This way you're just going over the surface of the um, of the images. Okay, now I'm just gonna just give this a quick clean. And I'm gonna mess up my sign. And then everywhere even on my hands but that's okay and then you, basically you can well just wash off your brayer or your brayer when you're done okay so I'm just gonna just put that to the side to let it dry while I bring in the rest of the 
items. So we have our card base, which is Knight of Navy, five and a half by eight and a half pole ends cord at four and a quarter. Let me just burnish that. And then I have a piece of, um, I'm thinking this is fresh fuchsia. And I'm just going to put this on there because I'm going to layer that on there. I have an extra piece of fresh fuchsia that I'm going to put my sentiment on. And this sentiment is from the Charming Sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that in Highland Heather because I want it to, to stand out. Maybe I'll stamp it in Knight of Navy. Just to pull the Knight of Navy in from the card. So let's bring this back in. And get my sentiment. And there we go. I'm going to bring in my trimmer because I'm going to trim this down it's just a little bit too long for myself. So we're just going to just cut this off. I'm just going to trim it down this way too. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to grab some of my mini dimensionals. Oh, the, the big ones, holy smokers, are they use them all already? But we'll just use the leftovers. So, if you live in Winnipeg and you're interested in coming to my bingo, today is the last day to sign up to get the discounted price. Um, after today, the price does go up, so there's no early bird special. Um, I only have two spots left, so um, if, you, if you're interested in coming, please register. Um, you can just messenger me, and I'll send you the registration form. And it's, um, yeah, it's $55, and then after today, it, it jumps up to $60. Okay, so now we're done with this. Grab this one here, and we are going to glue it directly onto the uh, fresh fuchsia. And I am going to use my liquid glue. So you want to make sure that you do it on a surface. Don't do it over top of your cardstock because the ink may not be dry, and you don't. And because it's such a dark color, it might spread, and we don't want that. This is just going to just slide. Right on to here, just like that. And then I'm going to dimension it onto my card base. I think this is done. Yep, that one's done. Let me grab some larger ones. Let's flip this over. We're going to adhere this right onto the Knight of Navy. And I'm going to grab my sentiment. Just put it right about there. And then I'm going to grab some ribbon from the Knight of Navy and Gold. Um, what's it called? Oh, glitter ribbon. It's beautiful bows. I already made a bow ahead of time. I'm just going to just make it just a wee bit smaller because I think it's going to be too big for this card. And I'll put that. So what I like to do with my tails on my bow, just to make sure they stay even, because my eyesight's not that great. And I like to bring the tails together, just like that. 
and then cut them together. Then you know they're going to be the same length. And then with a the glue dot, we're going to add our ribbon. Um, there's the glue dot. Add that right there. And then I have three gold Festa pearls. These are my favorite. I use them all the time, almost in every one of my classes we have, we use those. I'm just going to just bring my pick a tool in. Just add. Now I'm going to add the gold onto the navy blue just so it pops. Come on. I want to come off. No, it's stuck to my finger. Always away, eh? There we go. There we go. And then we'll just do one more. Right, right there. Okay. Quick and easy card to do. Fun. Um, just a few blending brushes and the new brayer from the new mini catalog. A few colors. And you can change that up too. Mine's more springy. Um, I'm sure you can do more blues and stuff like that, but um, just wanted to share that with you. So there's the card that I did for my challenge, and then this is the card that we did today, just to show you how, how fun it is. Quick and easy to do. Okay, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Greatly appreciate if you have any questions or you need a place in order. If you use this hostess code, by the end of business tomorrow, um, by I'm um, I'd say eight o'clock tomorrow because I'm going to put my order in. Um, I will send you the kits from last this week. We'll do this week because this week we have. Um, I'll just show you a couple of the cards that we did that you'll be receiving, or projects I should say, not cards. So these are the two projects that I did yesterday. So we made a card and we made a little gift basket. And tomorrow we're going to be making two more using the same um, hot air balloon bundle. So if you place an order of $40 or more, you'll receive the kits as a thank you from me. And of course I can't stamp anything. You'll have to stamp it all. Um, and you'll re also receive two kit, the two cards that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Okay, I want to thank you for joining me. Greatly appreciate it. You have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. See us. Bye.